Us right now, first up at 5:30, an I team investigation. Long-term care insurance can help protect your savings if you ever need 24-hour care. But will you be able to afford it when you need it most? And states across the country right now trying to figure out how to regulate an industry where prices just keep going up. Consumer investigative reporter Cassidy Williams joins us in studio to explain what's happening here in Connecticut. Cassidy. Well, there are a number of companies trying to raise long-term care insurance rates right now, some as much as 136%, but a proposed bill could change things. These are my three sons, obviously much younger. Today they're in their late 30s. David Schwartzer's basement is covered with his motivation. The last thing we want to do is burden our kids with having to financially take care of us um, as we get older and, and should something happen to one of us. It's why in 2004, Schwartzer and his wife each bought a long-term care insurance policy from Genworth Financial. At the time, they paid $1,170 each per year for a policy. It would cover them for three years if they needed 24-hour care. They paid $11,170 each year until 2012. Then the rates started to go up. There was a 40% increase in 2013, then six more increases through 2022 brought the price per policy up to $3,659 per year. That's a 213% increase, more than three times what they paid when they first took out the policy. My wife and I had a lot of conversations about whether or not we could afford this. Anytime an insurance company wants to raise rates on its Connecticut customers, the increase must be approved by the state's Department of Insurance. Right now, the insurance department is deciding on another request. Genworth wants to increase the Schwarzer's premiums again, this time by an additional 136%. If approved, Schwarzer and his wife would each pay $8,635 a year, more than seven times the original price. I think at that point we would have no choice but to give up the policy. It's not just Schwarzer's policies that have gone up. A study found that in 2021, there were 3,500 approved rate increases nationwide. On average, the requested rate increase was 78%. Policyholders are often offered options. Instead of paying the higher premium, you can lower your benefit and coverage. An option that's been offered to Schwarzer, but feels like a loss. But the policyholders essentially got nothing. Now retired after decades of working in the insurance business, he started researching. When I first started this, I made a freedom of information request. Schwarzer found what he believes are flaws in Connecticut law that make it difficult for regulators to deny rate increases. Schwarzer put his research together and sent it over to State Representative Gary Turco. Turco is now proposing a bill that would give regulators more power when making decisions. I think this is an area where government has to step in and provide more regulations because the market itself is not self-regulating and the consumer is getting hurt in the meantime. Genworth denied our request for an interview and instead sent a statement. It reads in part, as a result of higher than expected claims, Genworth is seeking actuarially justified premium increases on our legacy long-term care insurance business to reduce future losses, move toward economic break-even, and support our ability to pay all future claims for our long-term care insurance policyholders. For a company that reported more than $600 million in profit in 2022, Schwarzer thinks it comes down to one thing. In its simplest terms, this is just corporate greed. He's keeping a close eye on his wallet and a closer eye on the impact on his wall. Connecticut Department of Insurance is still accepting public comment on Genworth's long-term care proposed rate increase. We'll have a link on our website to all the companies that right now are looking to increase prices. And we'll also have more from Genworth's response on the Channel 3 app. For the I-Team, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Just fascinating. Cassidy, thank you very much.